The Cherry and White derby draw at Bath the previous weekend had extended their unbeaten run to four games, and that fact, plus a little early spring sunshine, drew a decent crowd to King's home. Some of those who'd made the effort must have wondered why, as a tame first half was nearly over before the first meaningful action. Prop Cameron Orr tumbling off the back of a maul to put Gloucester in front. But the second period did rather more to make the fans forget the international games on the telly, and the home side's second try was particularly popular. Henry Trinder's long-awaited return from injury marked in style from Callum Braley's pass. The Dragons won a European Challenge Cup quarter-final when they last visited King's home, and even with rather less at stake this time, they refused to go quietly. And when Matthew Screech finished an impressive drive on the hour, we were set for an interesting final quarter. But Gloucester's desire to continue their solid start to 2017 proved decisive, as did the quick thinking of Ben Velicott, the young scrum half with the strength to complete his tap and go for his second try in as many weeks after his late score at the wreck. And in the end, both these sides bowed out of the Anglo-Welsh with some credit as the game finished much stronger than it had started. The Dragons certainly saved their best for last to send Screech over for his second try of the game. But the generally positive mood disappeared in the final moment when young Gloucester centre Elliot Creed suffered a broken ankle. He was later accompanied to hospital by Henry Trinder, a fine example of how it's possible to bounce back from serious injury.